Hello everyone, Reese from IJC Models here, and this is my kit review of a Tele Aries 1/9 Norton 1951 single cylinder 500cc Manx. I've been waiting for this kit for a very, very long time, so let's get into the box and see what we can find. The Manx Norton was developed from 1947 to 1962. With its 500cc double overhead cam engine and four speed gearbox, the Manx was designed to use mostly on tracks such as the Isle of Man and the Manx Grand Prix, but it could be seen at races such as Brands Hatch and at Alton Park. Ridden by rider number one, Jeff Duke, it smashed many a lap record over on the island and put its name in the history books. Later development saw the Manx have a feather bed frame, twin chewed front brakes and telescopic front forks it dominated throughout these years. And here we go, this is the box for the Manx Norton. A beautiful, beautiful piece of box art there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's absolutely beautiful piece of box art. Um, inside the box is quite a sparse, sparse kit actually. Um, I've got some beautiful, beautiful instructions with a, a little bit about the Manx down the bottom there. And, um, uh, the, the creator of Manx there as well. Um, on the left here, as you can see, we've got a um, poster from the Isle of Man. Get it in frame, race. <laughs> and in the middle of there, uh, Jeff Duke riding a bike on the island there. Um, very, very, um, the, the, the instructions are very, very typically Ravel, which are very quite nice. You've got the screw call out on the left hand side here, which is a very, very nice, handy idea. Um, as we go through, we start on, we've got some more screw call outs. So as we go through the, the, the booklet, we start on, which is a very strange place to start actually. I've, I've built a build bike this size before, and it started on the engine. But it actually started putting the wheels and tyres together. Then it goes on to the engine, obviously the very, very nice double overhead cam 500cc engine there. And all its pipe works. So continue with the engine as we go through. And then down here at the bottom of the page, we've got the gearbox going on. Then coming through, we put the tank and the oil tank there, the, in, the, the, the two parts of the frame, the engine, the back swing arm, and a chain will go in on there. At the very bottom here, let's just get this in the shot. <laughs> at the very bottom here, we've got the Rear seat, the seat and the rear mud guide going on there as well. So this is very nice. Towards the end of the booklets, we got the tank and the, the front wheel going on being piped on. And at the very bottom there, as you can see, the paddock stands and whatever number you wish to choose for the bike just there. So it's either Jeff Duke or his teammate there. Okay, so the kit itself, uh, let me just take the screws out and we can show you. The decals, the decals there are very, very nice. Very, very nice set of decals there at the bottom. So we've got the the three number ones for Jeff Duke and the 10 for his teammate. The Norton tank markings just there. And then the the oil, the oil tank decal, the rev counter, and the other side of the oil tank. At the bottom here we have got a um, a tank strap, but I won't be doing that. I'll be using um, some paint, so I'll be paint, I'll be painting the tank strap on rather than using the decal there. Okay, so we've got a small bag of of wires, some springs, um, pipe work, that sort of stuff for the Norton and the, the engine for the Norton there. Okay, so coming through the first sprue bag of sprue we've got to come in here. We have. Let me just grab a trusty knife here. Excuse me. So let's just open this bag up and have a look, see what we've got there. So we've got clear parts, not that there are many clear parts on the Manx. Um, I'll just leave them in the bag for now. But there's your clear parts, so they, this will be a front headlight, something like that, and the the, the front screen there. It's a very, very nice kit actually, um, from what I can see. There's no flash on it at all. As we can see there, there's no no real problems there, no no burring, no sink marks in in 
bad places that you wouldn't really need them or wouldn't really want them actually to be to be more precise. Um, the frame there, coming through to the frame, the frame again, no flash marks, no ejector pins where you don't want them, no sink marks. So I think very, very minimal filling will be needed to use for this kit. The rear seat there and the, the top yokes there, top and bottom yokes there. So that's very, very nice. Now, Ravel, uh, sorry, Atelieri, I beg your pardon, uh, have done a very strange thing with their, um, I'll go on to these, these are the rear wheels. Um, Atelieri have done some very strange with their, their chrome work. Usually, um, you would get what, like a, like a pre-covered chrome, whereas with Atelieri, this is kind of like, um, already like an aluminium finish to it, which is quite handy to know really, because on the Manx Norton, there wasn't actually much chrome work on there, it, because it was a, designed to be a race bike mostly, it was all aluminium, so we've got a lot of aluminium work going on down there, and it's actually, it's Atelieri have, have become, they've, they've done that very well there, they've, 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 they've portrayed that very well with their, their metal work there. Okay, so we've got two very, very chunky tyres there, which is the front and the rear. Obviously, um, tyres back in the day weren't as good as they are now, so obviously riders had to adjust their riding style to, to the tyres. Okay, so coming through, we have this bag of sprues here, which is the front tank. The front tank, what am I saying? <laughs> I mean, the petrol tank. Um, actually, oddly enough, the the Manx Norton, because the 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 Isle of Man races were a seven lapper, they actually made this tank bigger to um, to to accommodate the the, the Manx's uh, use at the TT. Um, also, you've got the the oil, oil tank just at the top there, just here. You've got the cranks for the the, the gearbox. Just there, which is very very nice. Not I like I like the gold touches, but I'll be I'll actually be painting mine different to this. I'll actually be painting mine an aluminium colour. Then this one here, we've got the the heads. So that's the the famous double overhead double overhead double there. Excuse me, double overhead there. The chains at the bottom there, which is the rear chain on the, the the final drive. So again, no no real sink marks, no real flash. Which is always very good. It means it's going to make uh, for a very good kit. And coming through for the last, the last bag of sprues just here, which is another, again, another, not chromed parts as you would find with these sort of things. It's it's an aluminium uh, sort of covering rather than a rather than a chrome. So which is very good because sometimes you have to put a lot of work in with the chrome parts because uh, they take a lot of you have to scratch a lot of the chrome off to get it to stick. But what we can see here, it's a lot of aluminium. Obviously, I don't think you guys can see it very well, but it is a, a more of an aluminium finish than a, a than a, an actual chrome finish. Okay, so I say that's that's the the Manx the Manx Norton. Obviously, at the moment here in the over in the UK at this time of filming, we've actually I think we're on on day three of of the Isle of Man TT 2017. So very very <laughs> very very good bike to be building. Um, I will be doing a, a full build of this, so I can't wait to do, to, to do that. Okay, um, and that was that was my my review of that. Okay, thank you very much.